I will start by explaining the physics of the world you live in. Everything you have experienced and are experiencing, from the, your first glimpse of the Elite Café to the metal of that spoon in your fingers, the taste of the soup in your mouth, is made of one thing. Atoms. No, print. Some worlds are made of atoms, but yours is made of tiny marks. This is a false antithesis. Printed paper has an atomic structure like anything else. Words would have been a better term than print, being less definably concrete. Tiny marks marching in neat lines, like armies of insects, across pages and pages and pages of white paper. I say these lines are marching, but that is a metaphor. They are perfectly still, they are lifeless. How can they reproduce the movement and noises of the Battle of Borodino, the white whale ramming the ship, the fallen angels on the flaming lake? By being read. Exactly. Your survival as a character and mine as an author depend on us seducing your living soul into our printed world and trapping it here long enough for us to steal the imaginative energy which gives us life. To cast a spell over this stranger, I am doing abominable things. I am prostituting my most sacred memories into the commonest possible words and sentences. When I need more striking sentences or ideas, I steal them from other writers, usually twisting them into twist, uh, twisting them to blend with my own. Worst of all, I am using the great world given at birth, the world of atoms, as a ragbag of shapes and colours to make this second-hand entertainment look more amusing. Index of plagiarisms. There are three kinds of literary theft in this book. Block plagiarism, where someone else's work is printed as a distinct typographical unit. Embedded plagiarism, where stolen words are concealed within the body of the narrative. And diffuse plagiarism, where scenery, characters, actions or novel ideas have been stolen without the original word describing them. To save space, these will be referred to hereafter as block plague, implag, and diff plague.